Okay, so hey guys, and welcome back to another predictions video. And in today's video, I'm going to be predicting the Brook versus Van Zant fight. If you're so, if you are new around here and you haven't yet subscribed, please do so. Like the video if you do need like the video. And let's get straight into it. So, of course, like I do with all of the Misfits boxing cards, I'm gonna go through the whole card. I'm not just gonna go through the main event because. You know, this this main event is actually quite a good main event, but I just don't feel like individually there is enough to talk about the particular main event, you know, as its own fight. But I also want to speak about the other fights, but I can't say that necessarily the analysis is going to be anything too extreme because some of the fighters on here, I, there is very minimal kind of tape and footage and general just know abouts of what I know about them and so you know I've tried to do research for each and every single one and I'm here to do a prediction on it. So we're going to start off with Megan versus Fangs. Uh, Fangs fought Vampira a little while ago and uh, she I believe got stopped and it wasn't a very good performance from Fangs but she's now coming back. She's still you know, not to be horrible but she's on the little bit the older side and Megan is the younger one and the one who had a little bit of fighting experience from what I've seen, but not really anything too crazy. She's got a lot of followers, which is, you know, probably the reason as to why she's on this card in general. But nonetheless, I feel like Megan's going to be able to win this one. I think as the younger fighter, she looked quite messy in that in that particular fight she had. She had one with head guards on. That's all I know. It's probably some unlicensed thing, but yeah, it wasn't. It didn't look anything clean. I mean, I don't think. So when I saw Fangs fighting that would look like anything clean either so I don't feel like it's going to be a very appealing performance visually but nonetheless I think Megan will be able to win like I said the younger one she, she, she seems like she carries a bit of power about her as well and probably will be the faster one out of the two. Moving on Vampira versus Loza and Loza she's somebody who is coming in uh, having a little bit of experience and she looks quite good I feel like she's got an actual level of ability that's just been yet to be discovered and she's been fighting on other you know seemingly promotions that do influencer type boxing stuff from what I've seen I might be wrong uh, and Vampira of course she's had the win versus Fangs but then went and lost quite badly versus Poker but she did put up a valiant performance against her and so it wasn't anything to be ashamed of or anything like that against Poker and Poker is the best female Misfits fighter around at the moment so I'm going to go with a loads of victory. I think she's going to be able to be another fighter who I think actually is going to come in with good technique. And I think this could be one of the better women's fighters out of, you know, the two fights that we've got here. And I feel like, yeah, the Loza will be able to win and kind of cement herself as a new name in and around the Misfits and women's divisions, which is always nice to see fighters getting opportunities. And, you know, this is another one of them. Moving on to Rose versus Kelly. Rose coming off the draw versus Raksu and the loss versus uh, Silver Jr. And Kelly hasn't really had, well, he's had some fine experience and he's won in amateurs, but I believe this is his first like professional class to fight. And he looks very, very big. <laughs> That's to say the least. I believe he has some bodybuilding, you know, records and things like that. And he, that seems like that's his brand and everything. But I feel like Rose is used to fighting fighters who are bigger than him. Silver Junior was bigger than him. Raksu was a lot bigger than him. And he just kind of puts it on them and is, you know, good to work. Operates well on the inside and throws relatively good shots. Isn't really too concerned sometimes about what's coming back. But Kelly. Seems like he's quite messy in his work. He is older, I believe, and he has power, but I don't necessarily know if that's going to be able to mix in with speed or stamina or actual ability or anything like that. So I think Rosa is going to be able to win this one relatively comfortably. I'm not saying about how yet. I'll say how, you know, just for the main event. Moving on, B versus Fernandez. B fought on last time on the uh, Roy Jones Jr. versus Anthony Pettis card, and she won. She seemingly looked quite good. I haven't really been able to see too much footage of Fernandez as an opponent. She didn't really even get na announced as somebody on the card, to be completely honest. So I was searching around to f try and find who she she was actually fighting. I believe she's 0-1 or something like that. I don't really think she's got too much of a. I don't know if she has too much of a platform or not, but. 
I, I mean, I, from, I've literally been able to see nothing, so I'm going to go with a B victory. And that's, yet again, another female fighter. They're giving female fighters opportunities on this card, which is nice to see, of course, with this being headlined by the first female Misfits main event. It's a big main event, so they thought they'd give opportunities to fighters, which is always, like I say, nice to see. Moving on, Park versus Vargas. This is an interesting one. Two fighters who seemingly, you know, have that ego about them, that kind of gym influencer ego, well, Park especially, and Vargas, somebody who... I believe fought a little bit ago, but it looked messy and wasn't really anything too impressive. Park, from what I've seen from like sparring footage of him and stuff, doesn't really look too impressive either. I think this could be a messy offensive type fight. I think it's going to be physical, and I think Park, who is the one, who is in my opinion the bigger one out of the two, I think he's going to be able to operate better if it is a physical fight. So. I think Park will be able to win this one, but like I say, I feel like this could be quite a messy fight. It is just two gym influencers going at it, to be completely honest. Well, Park is. I don't really know too much about what Vargas does, but yeah, nonetheless, I think from what I've seen fighting-wise, I think Park will be able to win. Moving on to Cracker Cracker versus Yuri Gang, and they did fight before they fought on the uh, Fox to G outnumbered card, and uh, obviously what happened there with... I believe like a SWAT team getting called or something it meant that that fight got called and so you know nothing was actually you know a couple of rounds happened there was no of course winner in the end and I think Krakura probably was winning I'm probably not pronouncing his name right and he probably was winning Yudi Gang moves quite well he's got a good jab and sometimes I feel like just offensively there is things wrong and it's the same with Krakura I feel like defensively there's things wrong with him but in this second fight, I think Yudi Gang's going to be able to win. If he puts his things together, obviously he's been around in for a little bit of a time now and he's fought a few Misfits fights now and I feel like he is improving and he has got ability about him. These kind of lightweight fighters are seemingly some of the best ones for Misfits and yeah, I believe he'll be able to win this one and possibly, I don't know if he'll be able to get a stoppage, I don't really think he holds that much power, but I think he'll be able to win this one relatively comfortably, even with just a nice jab that he's got. Uh, moving on to Bell versus Ham, and this one is the co-main event, it's an intriguing fight, Bell, I mean he's coming off the win versus JMX, and he's fought a few times now in boxing, and Ham is coming off that win versus not Logan Paul, which was just a messy one in which, you know, he won, and won impressively, but not Logan Paul was just an easy opponent to be completely honest um, I'm going to go with a ham victory it's a bit of a controversial I suppose take I just believe that if he can get on the inside there is a lot of defensive things wrong with Bell and he has been shown weaknesses in that aspect but Bell has a relatively nice accurate straight shot in which he throws and he does have power so coming in against him will be dangerous but I think Ham as the smaller fighter if he can maintain a high guard I think he could get in and he has power himself and if he can get in then that can cause damage for Bell and if it's going to be a physical fight I think he'll be able to operate well. I think that where JMX went wrong is just he was just trying to outbox him and he wasn't really trying to make it messy at all or anything or you know get on the inside at all and I think Ham is going to be wanting to get on the inside and like I say I think Bell has defensive openings with just a very weak guard and so I definitely think he can be caught with shots and that's where I think Ham's going to be able to capitalise and win. And then moving on now to the main event, Brock versus Van Zant. It's an intriguing matchup. It is kind of not revolutionary but it's it's big for YouTube boxing, female YouTube boxing. I mean Brook has really built herself as a brand as a Misfits fighter now and it's impressive to see the progression that she's had in her boxing career and to go from a uh, simple Simon versus Ed Matthews co-main event fight to then be able to now be fighting Van Zandt who has fought in the UFC and has fought in BKFC and is a really big name in combat sports. Obviously she's never really achieved too much in combat sports but she has made a big name for herself and she was one of the earlier fighters for UFC wise for female fighting and so she is a, she is a big name in her own right and I think Van Zandt going to win via unanimous decision but I think it could be a, an interesting display. I think Van Zandt possibly moves a bit better than Brooke, so I feel like she'll be able to get out of positions. I think she can, from the BKFC experience she's had, obviously she didn't win any of the fights, I think she can operate well on the inside and land shots in angles where it's difficult and possibly be able to counteract Brooke's messiness at times and inaccuracy at times. It's just if it can go all the rounds, if... Van Zandt can keep up with the inactivity and stuff and just not be out 
box out thrown too much. It'd be intriguing to see because it kind of what was happening in the BKFC fights for her. She was just getting out thrown, but I don't think that'll be the case. And I think she is going to be the better boxer out of the two and then be able to win from that way. But of course, it'd be intriguing to see the inactivity and the age of her if that plays too much of a factor. She's not old, but it's just if that will play a factor or not. But yeah, that is it for today's video. Hope you did enjoy. Like the video if you did indeed like the video, subscribe if you're new and thanks for watching.